Hi, this is Eric from LucidGraphics.com. Today we're going to continue our less series, which is this is number three, which is about basics and mixins. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to add a uh, button. It's going to say "Push Me." Okay, looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, there we go. I got a basic button. Pretty, pretty boring. Uh, all right, so let's get back to the. Uh, so let's add some uh, let's add some mixing. So a mixin is done exactly the same as you would do a class. So let's say we'll make one called BTN, which would be for the button, and then we're going to target the button here. And the way you would use it is you would just go like that. So now anything that you put in here is going to populate here. So first let me let me uh, okay. So here we are. Now I'm going to I'm going to go with a width of 100%. Let's go with a padding of 20 pixels. A, we're going to do a box shadow. We're going to go with a multiple box shadow. And uh, inset, we're going to go 0, 0, 10 pixels. We'll make it white. And how you do multiple box shadows, just add a comma. And so we're going to do another one. And we're going to make this one outside instead of inside. OK. And we'll do a, a background of black. We'll do a border radius of 10 pixels. And we'll do a uh, font size of 20, a letter spacing of 3 pixels, and we'll do a color of white, and we'll do a, one thing is that the freaking buttons never, are, they always on the default on the cursor, and it drives me crazy, so you got to make sure you put the pointer there. Okay, so let's go ahead now, so I've added that there, so now, when I click here, you'll notice that it populated the button here, and the, and the reason why this is so helpful, isn't it? Is yeah, okay, but it's the mindset you have to understand. Let's say you're using the same button all over your site, which is what generally what happens. You try to have a uh, certain look, a uniformity. So you now you have one one spot to edit every uh, instance of that button, which is very time consuming, and very much a time saver if it's done correctly. So now let's go take a look at our button. Okay, so we got this cool little cool button. It's got kind of a, a cool little effect going on there. Okay, so now let's say I wanted to add that to another thing. Let's say I had a an anchor tag, anchor tag, and I wanted to add a button. So I just go, so I just said BTN. Okay, now that adds that to the anchor tag. So let me let me add a anchor tag. So I say A, and I just go nothing, and I say push me. Okay, so there we go. So now, um, an anchor tag is not a block element, so it's kind of whack like that. So let's go back here. So now, all you'd want to do is you'd want to do display block. But uh, due to the, uh, since we're not using uh, the new border box, it's going to be kind of crazy the way the way uh, the padding and 100% uh, width kind of makes things. So what you would want to do is you just want to add you want to add some box sizing border box. So let's just go ahead and add that there. There we go. There we go. Now it's looking looking pretty good. We didn't put any margin below it or nothing, but it's looking okay. It's looking okay. So that's how you would add it to multiple properties. So now let's go back here. Okay, so now you've got a, a mix in here and it goes here. So now let's say Let's say you wanted to add a hover state to this. Okay. Well, how you add a hover state is instead of going going BT and going hover and then adding it there, you can do something called nested nested uh, mixing. So what you want to do is you do it here, and all you do is you use the and hover like that, and that that would that gives you. So let's check it out, and you look here. Let me add a property. Let's say we'll do a background of white. There we go. So now you've got the B it see it it puts it in the right place. It does that all that for you, which really helps with the CSS specificity. But um, so let's go ahead and just add a cool little thing here. So we'll just do color, make it black. Okay. And then we'll do a let's just copy this. And then we'll paste that down here. And then we'll 
Okay, so let's just see. Let's uh, let's make that black, and we'll leave that black. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've made. Okay, looks looks pretty cool. It's pretty pretty cool button. Works pretty good. Let me get rid of that anchor. Okay, so here you go. Now you got a nested mix, a nested. It's nested, and you're using uh, in the mixing, so it automatically populates over here, which is pretty cool, which is pretty simple. So now, so this is pretty much all there is to basically a basic mixer, and you can make it make them as large or as small. And and if you wanted to, you could add um, you could add like an active state if you wanted to, and that would work just the same. See, now you've got the hover and the active, which is kind of cool. And uh, you could do the same for, uh, like, let's say you wanted to do, uh, you could do visit it too. And that works pretty cool, pretty much the same, so it's pretty cool. So now, either we're going to visit it or push it, it does the same. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, let's say, let's say you wanted to add a transition to it. So, so I'm going to go ahead and add a duration, and we'll make it 0.5 seconds. Now that's a great place for a mixing, the mixing. So you, it's pretty cool. For now it's a smoother transition. It's pretty cool. But this is a great place for one. So you see here, and this is this is where it's common where it was is you have five different properties. Five different properties. So we'll be getting into more advanced mixing in the next video. If you like and subscribe and uh, definitely check out the uh, check out the next video. Thank you.